children uh, having their own uh, cultural beliefs, not only suppressed, but in some cases literally beaten out of them. First of five, the chief of the Cherokee Nation reacts to the federal report about abuse of tribal children in federally funded Indian boarding schools. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. For 150 years, many Native American children were forced out of their homes and into those boarding schools, and many of those schools were in Oklahoma. News on Six's Amy Slanchik joins us with more reaction tonight. Amy? Lori and Craig, Chief Chuck Hoska Jr. says this report, which was just released yesterday, is long overdue, but it is appreciated. He hopes the next steps beyond the U.S. government's investigation include teaching this history in school and looking for ways to heal. The 106-page report says rampant physical, sexual, and emotional abuse, disease, malnourishment, overcrowding, and lack of health care in Indian boarding schools are well documented. One example points to an Oklahoma school where the report says single beds were pushed so closely together to preclude passage between them, and each bed had two or more occupants. The report says of all the schools across the United States, nearly 20% were in Oklahoma. We are in a state that is really the epicenter for the federal boarding school policy. Cherokee Nation Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. says he first learned about the systemic abuse as a young man when his father shared what he knew about the history. The chief learned even more heartbreaking details from the newly released report. I'm the leader of the largest tribe in the country and I will admit that this report taught me a great, a, a great deal about the boarding school problem than really I knew. The Department of the Interior says it identified more than 50 marked and unmarked graves at schools across the country. I think we can do some more examining of where uh, these children may be buried. Odds are we're going to find them and we ought to find them and give them the dignity and their family the dignity that they deserve. Secretary of the Interior Deb Holland announced she will go on a year-long tour across the country to collect oral histories from survivors and their families. We'll post a link to the full report inside this story on our News on 6 app. Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.